I'm Vincent Hill from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Three Texas police officers have been shot while responding to a call earlier today. According to the Cedar Park Police Department, the officers are in stable condition at a local hospital. The person suspected of injuring the officers is not yet in custody. Police say the shooter is currently barricaded inside a home. Local residents are being asked to stay away. It's unclear what type of call the police were responding to or what prompted the suspect to open fire. Some medical professionals are seeing new issues related to wearing a mask for a long period of time. Things like bad breath, tooth decay, and gum inflammation from bacteria. One issue is that people may be breathing more through their mouth instead of their nose while wearing a mask. That can create dry mouth and you need saliva to help rinse off your teeth. Doctors say to stay hydrated to prevent dry mouth. And Tulsa police are not giving up on an urgent search for a missing and endangered five-year-old boy. Police say on August 1st, Kyron James Dolan was with his mother, Kenitra Wiggins, for visitation, but she didn't follow court orders and didn't return him. There's now a warrant out for her arrest. A judge ordered full custody of the child to the father. If you recognize the little boy in the picture, please call local police. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Brandon. Vince and quiet conditions tonight along with partly cloudy skies and light winds all less than 10 miles per hour with that morning low down into the upper 60s. Our daytime high tomorrow at 93, so just a little bit warmer. Northerly winds, especially by the afternoon between about 5 and 10, mostly sunny skies. The average daytime high for tomorrow is 94 degrees. Your Monday planner at 7 o'clock around 70, mostly sunny skies, nearing 80 degrees at 10, nearing 90 at 1 and 93 at 4, but that heat index staying below low 100 at 95. Your latest 10 day forecast dipping down into the upper 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday back on up into the low 90s on Friday, lower 90s for next weekend with morning lows into the 60s this week. Vincent. All right, Brandon, thank you. And of course, thank you for watching. I'm Vincent Hill, two works for you.